So Aronian is a great blitz player too. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he he shared first place now in the sport accord with Karyakin. Mm -hmm. Karyakin is another extremely good blitz specialist. Yes. So it's gonna start. In Actually, we could also see Magnus what he was doing here against Gelfand because he had a very difficult position, and he was down on four seconds. And he I think anybody else would have collapsed and lost the game without a fight already. Uh -huh. And he managed to make only moves and, and uh, defend finally it, yeah. defend it. So it's an incredible achievement from that position. It can also be a turning point psychologically because now he feels that he settled into the tournament. Yes, he's and back into exactly. his rhythm. So. Take some time to decide on his second move, as he did before against Carolina, taking some time. For yeah, but this move. we still don't know yeah, what happened because true. there's suddenly some the clock. The clock. Yeah. So, as you near about 15 seconds. B5, all right. So I think he wants to have fun in this tournament, in this blitz tournament, but still the fun should not spoil his, his free whites. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Unless he doesn't really mind, but... So we have a very unusual position. White parted with a central pawn uh, and got the B pawn. I think usually it happens with reverse colors when white plays B4, B4. and black plays E5, yeah? That's, uh, that's how we are getting this position. <laughs> And now white has an extra tempi, which should be yeah, to quite useful. Favor, but uh, in those situations when uh, white plays a black setup, even yes. with the tempo up, yes. it's not clear. But now we saw a yeah. very original bishop a6, a6. move, mm -hmm. because the problem with bishop b7 many times that white can play d4, d5, mm -hmm. and the bishop gets logged in. Yeah. So now he will be probably forced <coughs> to take. Yes, takes, takes. Yeah, very difficult to say something about the position. It's clear that in long terms, black has an extra pawn in the center, center. but white has the initiative, so mm -hmm. it's not clear if black really will free himself easily. Mm -hmm. So, he, 95. Maybe nice queen c8. Maybe queen c8. It's a typical queen c in the movie, yeah, queen mm -hmm. c8. To play, d6. to play d6 and queen also to put the queen to b7. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now queen f3 is the Would be, yeah, natural. Normal. But maybe d6 or d5 can be an idea for... But maybe d5 is now also possible from white side, mm. but it, it feels a bit early. Mm -hmm. Exactly, queen f3, knight b4. So the knight cannot go back to d3. Yes, yeah, but knight g4, four, clever. Yeah. Yeah, he changes the knight from f6, removes the defender, and this knight on b4 is a bit artificial. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Again, yeah. not easy to make an instant decision. Yeah, and this is always mm -hmm. quite bothering in blitz. Now, Magnus, if our clock is right, slowly done one minute on the clock. Yeah, almost one minute. Yeah, yeah and this, this puts additional pressure always. Mm -hmm. Yeah, plus, okay, Black has got the B file, but he can't really do anything with it. If he plays with B8 to attack B2, yes. there was all. Yeah, exactly. But also, he has some concrete problems because now knight takes F6 is a threat. Mm -hmm. Removing the knight to D7 is also a bit ugly. Then it's Queen G3 yeah. can happen, putting pressure on the D6 pawn. Mm -hmm. If uh, black takes on g4, then queen g4, queen d7 can be met by d5. So, and also bishop h6, bishop f6, knight e4 is an idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, plus the rook can uh, also be lifted to the third file, rook e3. Yeah, looks. You're right, you, you immediately spotted that the knight on b4 is completely it's out It's completely, of play. yeah, you would like to have it on d7 and then you could play knight f6 and probably have an easy game. Yes, but just by the misplaced knight on b4, things are extremely difficult. Yes, and he's down 1 minute 30 and more even on, on the clock, <laughs> while uh, Levon has <coughs> blitzed out all his moves so far. Yes, King H8, a sad necessity, yeah, sad necessity. <coughs> Okay, so rookie is three is so natural. It's true, yeah. Rookie is so natural. Can also try to push the H pawn, maybe to H five. But the problem once you put push the pawn then you never have Attack this rookie is three idea and actually it's clear that he's considering it. Yes. 
But Black's problem also, it's not clear what is the next move. Mm -hmm. Yeah, do kiss it, that's the, that's the problem. Yeah, Black's position is already quite ugly. It's extremely ugly and very difficult to play, so... Mm. <coughs> Yeah, yeah. I his would like to suggest something, but yes. I don't know <laughs> what to suggest because his dream to would be to be able to play e5, exchange queens, but this costs a pawn. Exactly. So, um, it's not clear how he can prepare this at all. Could try to sacrifice the knight to d on d4 and then give the pawn. It's st still just a pawn down, but yeah, and also rook h3, queen h5 yeah. is mate is coming indeed. Mate is coming. So something like f5, but it's such an ugly move. Then also queen e2 just strategically probably wins the pawn. Mm -hmm. In fact, not yeah. even strategically, yeah. just instantly. Yeah. So it's already more than two minutes down. Okay, he's done. Yeah, f5, but this is ah he has g5. No, g5. The rook e6. Six, yeah. It's just desperation mm -hmm. because there was nothing else. There was just nothing else. Yeah, and it's a position where you even cannot fight. It doesn't matter <coughs> if you are yeah. the best player in the world or not. Yeah, so rook f6 maybe saves the pawn for. But then bishop g5, back rook f7. f7. Yes. Still very, very artificial. Because also just rook e1 mm -hmm. wins the pawn. Yeah. But actually, an end game would be kind of an achievement for Black. I mean, king back to g8, but it won't be an end game. It's no, clear. No. It will be a massacre. A bad case. end game with a pawn down. Or yeah. Okay, but that's what I meant. That even that would be already not such a bad scenario for Black because mm. uh, things can only get so worse. That's yeah. Probably what he wants to do now, exchange. And then he has knight d3 maybe. If after the yes, the but okay, White can first play a3 and after knight yeah. a6 take on e6. And then also d6 and c6 are extremely vulnerable. Sad but enough. he will have knight c7 then with tempo. So he can, of yeah. course, it's lost position, but he can fight. Mm -hmm. Because that's all he can do in this position. Yeah, healthy pawn. And now king g8, king f7. Mm -hmm. And if he gets king f7, knight e6, then uh, at least he can try to hang on for a while. Mm -hmm. He might play c5, but okay, rook d8 maybe. So he's down to 20 seconds, so <coughs> 19 against 2 minutes. But his uh, task is a bit easier now. I mean, yeah, he can breathe a bit. E exactly, and he knows his next moves. Yeah, king f7, knight e6. Mm -hmm. If white tries to win immediately, then he will bring his rook. And yes. also, white still lacks a move on the first rank. Yeah, so, mm -hmm. so f3 is a good move to prepare. Yes. So Ramon decided to take it slow. Mm -hmm. After all, he's pawned up and has the better structure, so... Better structure, better time, clearly. But, yeah, he wants to attack this pawn on d4. So yes, this is, this is the idea, and sometimes the advantage of having little time in bad positions, then if, if you manage to hang on, then the opponent gets uh, impatient, because he wanted to win the game immediately, and the game continues, yeah. and, and that's when your opponent can get nervous. Uh, like now, now he needs to answer some, some serious questions. Exactly. If he could play king d3 in one move, then he would be happy. But yeah, and then uh, knight e6, knight e2. Mm -hmm. To keep the structure. Yeah? Yeah, now knight e2, rook b3 is an idea. Mm. He will activate his rook uh, via the b file. Yeah. And this is then. Ah, so now he can take with the knight on e5. So now his advantage is huge again. Ah, bishop there. Okay. He still has bishop e5. Ah, rook e7. Rook e7. Rook e7. Seven. Yeah, so rook b5 one. maybe. He has to play rook b5 yeah, to keep the structure. And then king d1 to kick the bishop mm -hmm. and, and then start everything again. Yeah, but no time to play king d1. Yes. <coughs> And okay, now still the yeah, same time, time on the clock for for Magnus, like 11 seconds. Mm -hmm. So now he should uh, try to prevent rook. Uh, rook c2 cannot be played immediately. So maybe bishop e5. 
Yes, I mean to get the bishop, bishop to, to c3 and then yeah. and then the rook enters to the seventh. Uh, bishop c3, bishop b6. Mm -hmm. So he could have checked first maybe on uh, on b7 yes. before moving back. Yes, maybe. But still, he's in the work now, while the black rook <coughs> is a bit much more passive, in fact. Don't tell me that Magnus is <laughs> playing for the win with his No, no, but, <laughs> uh, but suddenly he is relieved that he, yes, he gets yes. some counter chances with King entering to b3. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, it's not so easy. Yeah. Yeah. Some, some. The king has to be careful now. Rook e6 yeah. check. Okay. Actually, I was, uh, I was surprised that Magnus didn't give the check, but maybe this. Mm -hmm. But maybe now White can play f4 and bishop e5. Bishop e1. Well. Ah, he wants to play bishop f2. Yeah. But still, I think with the bishop on c3, there was no but real. But how much time does Magnus have? Magnus because has back down. Uh, nine seconds. Nine seconds yeah, nine against seconds. 18, so he's almost made up. Yeah, but the, the bishop on e1 is the, the great defender. Here. Yeah, but now some f4 with black and then try to... Down to three seconds, so he was down to one. Down to one second, yeah. He's going for the rook Because he rook. needed the pawn to f4. Okay, he pushes h4. He needs to play rook e2 check, not to force back the king to <coughs> the first rank. Mm -hmm. But... But then okay, then some king e3. Mm -hmm. But the pawn is getting to a7, I think he will give back. Ah, but there is... Some pa no, so, ah, no, I think a6 now, yes, but he a6. takes on b4. Ah, this is... Ah, rook e1, this is... <coughs> <coughs> yes, because uh, the pawn fell down, that's why I won't push back the clock. Mm -hmm. And now the white king is coming. <laughs> so he will cut the king. Ah, I thought he would cut the king with rookie e4. And f4. And f4. But uh, Levon has very little time. He's coming back. Yes, now he's also there. So now he, he needs to go after g6. What a defense by, by incredible, Magnus. Incredible he was defense totally because he was he completely hang lost. On. But it's still very difficult. Ah, and king takes g6, then king f4. Mm -hmm. Ah, no, he took on h1. Yeah. King f5. f5. Has to this. Well, we noticed in some games last year that Magnus is sometimes... And, ah, but look a5. Wow, this is... Mm -hmm. Magnus is not <laughs> always very comfortable in those rook endings. But now he draws it, yes? Now, he, now he holds it. In h5? Or? Huh? Oh, it's yes. But check and, and king f6. But which maybe should go to h7? Rook f6. Rook f6. Yeah. The but the after king g4? No, then king g6. And how do you. Ah, make but now progress? check. Now check, and if rook f7 takes, takes. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a draw. Incredible. What a defense. What Incredible a defense, defense yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's that's one of his great strengths. That he's, he keeps on setting problems to his opponent. However bad his position may be, he's going to...